Oh, I have this scraper underneath my pool so I can stitch on it in a minute. This is uh, hopefully a testimonial for uh, Gorilla Tape. There is a hole in my pool right on a seam which Gorilla Tape says do not use on seams etc etc. It does say it seals underwater but it doesn't say it should be applied underwater. I think their thinking is just that it will seal after you fill it, but we'll see. So I had a leak in my pool, I had a couple leaks in my pool, and I had uh, these five spots down here are uh, blue silicone that I had put on. There are tiny little cracks in my pool. Hopefully those will hold. But I have just refilled my pool after uh, emptying it the first time to fix it and here I am halfway down the second time so if you're seeing this then Gorilla Tape worked so we're gonna hop in the pool here and see if this shit will stick so, this is what Gorilla Tape looks like when you buy the extra heavy duty waterproof, etc., etc. It is extremely sticky. It is very thick. Uh, very thick. I'd say probably at least a millimeter as far as tape goes. It's very thick. So, we're going to see if I put this under and uh, squeeze out all the water if it actually works. And I can't roller this and apply it all at the same time, so there's going to be some edits in here. Alright, well, hopefully this will come out okay. So, it does say rub aggressively on the entire thing. And hopefully, if I can squeeze out all the water, this will stick. So, what I'm doing is I have a roller on it, and I'm rubbing the hell out of it. And I'm going to pause this and get this done, and then we'll see if it worked. And if you're watching it, then it worked, because I won't post it if it didn't. I still don't know if it's successful, but the uh, inch of water that was just on the ground outside of my pool is gone. And I stitched and stitched and stitched that sucker for freaking five minutes rolling over it with that roller. And I tell you, it definitely, definitely would seal if I'd put it on a dry pool. And it definitely would have been much easier if I had a narrow stitcher like... Uh, Automobile tire stitching it would be a, a very, very narrow metal wheel instead of this wide, it would be only maybe four or five millimeters wide. It'd be a steel wheel that you'd roll on it to stitch it down. But this, uh, I got the corner on it, got the edge on it, and I rolled that sucker until I couldn't, uh, couldn't see rolling it anymore would do any good. So, for now, I'm going to say uh, it at least reduced the leak because there's no more water on the ground. I might have another one over here because I found a f sixth one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh one. And I may try to put a patch over, may not, who knows. Maybe just let it leak, but... Uh, my big problem has uh, hopefully been solved.